everybody welcome back to whiskey's adventures whiskey here and alhorn right there behind me so <clears throat> it's bright and early in the morning it's 7 13 a.m eastern standard time we actually got out the door about an hour and 13 minutes late this morning i wanted to be on the road by six o'clock but when the alarm went off at 5 30 i couldn't not stop curling up with my wife so i'll let everybody sleep in a little bit we are on our way to Urari. Did I say it right, Mama? Yes. Cool. River <laughs> to do a uh, three-day, two-night camping adventure. It's uh, Al Hunter's last Big Bang camping trip before she starts school back up. Yeah. This was actually her ideal. Um, we've been planning on coming to this river for, for a while now because we've never been down it, never seen it the whole night. But we never set a date. And then Al Hunter come up to me and said, let's do this, let's get her done. So we're actually going here this weekend because of her. Um, as far as food goes, we got plenty of nice foods. We got eggs, baking, um, cheese and stuff like that. We're gonna, and um, some sub buns. So that's what we're doing for dinner tonight. Y'all have seen me cook it one time on this channel before. And then the second night we got shredded chicken with some hot sauce and taco mixings. And then our lunches, we got oodles and noodles, beef stew and the beefaronis. Breakfast, we got pop tarts, oatmeal, we got coffee. Mama Bear bought us a French press from Walmart. Now, it's not a French press you're gonna see me carrying on every adventure because it's a glass type French press, but it's gonna be with the family camping gear and when I'm in the canoe where I'm not worried about the extra weight and stuff. It ain't one of those cool metal ones, you know. I have to give me one of those when I do my private solo trips. But Mama Bear gold was a French press, you know. So we can have some nice coffee. We also brought hot chocolate. We packed hot chocolate. We didn't think we were going to have coffee on this trip. But Mama come through for us. So we're going to drive. We got roughly an hour and a half to two hour drive to get there. So what we'll do is we'll tune you all in um, when we're there. And we're unloading, getting locked up into the river and all that good stuff. Should be an awesome weekend and an awesome trip. Right? Yes. Well, hello everybody. So we're on Urari River. We just began our trip. It is Friday, August 19th. It's 9.36 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are like an hour and 36 minutes later and getting on the river and get, getting going down the river than I originally planned. But it's all good. The entire trip now is only like 13.6 miles and we got three whole days to do it. 13 miles ain't nothing. We can actually pull that off in one day. So the first trek of the mile is gonna be like two or three miles and then there's part of the National Forest. And if it looks good, we're gonna stay there and camp because we do got a storm coming our way. And if not, we'll find a spot farther into the river and we'll just camp at one spot for two days. We're just gonna play it by ears what we're doing. But it's daddy-daughter time. This should be a good adventure. I'm gonna warn y'all now, this trip may or may not all be captured in one episode. Um, we may break the episode up for either two episodes or into three episodes, one episode per day. We're not quite sure, depends on how much content we actually capture. But we're gonna row down the river here. It's nice and beautiful. I brought my fishing pole because the whole time we're in North Carolina and I have a legal fishing license for this state, so we're good there. Should be a good time. Y'all caught the fish. Oh my God. 
Look at it for you like oh god. Did it bite you? <laughs> Are you touching? I wanna feel it. See that vine in the rocks? We're gonna shoot right between the two. Something's right there, back around the tree. Hello. Water's low. Dang. Which is weird because I've been getting alerts all week that the Urari's in under flood watch and everything else. They're lying. So we ran into a spot of the river that we have no choice. We got to get out of the boat for. Are you Otherwise, sure? the boat's going to. Yeah, it's recording. I got the rope. Otherwise, it's going to, um, you know. Back. Drag the whole way. Back. I don't want to go underneath the tree. I can see spider webs hanging and everything else. Grandmother's house, we go. Deeper right here. Okay. Okay. So it's knee deep right here. We'll get back in the boat once we get around this curb. Yeah, I've been working out. Blood alerts and everything we else. Really we like, wow. That may be a deep little hole right there really? that we're walking into now. Really? It may be. I can't see bottom. Can you see bottom? No. You well, go ahead and work your way towards your seat and see if it gets deep. If it does, and then we'll jump back in the boat for a couple. Is he getting deep? I mean, it looks my knees pretty much. Yeah, so go ahead and get in the boat. 
I got it stable. You can get in however you need to. Right side, right side, right side, right side. That's gonna get really shallow again. Is the river going to the right or to the left? I can't see. I got you, huh? If it gets hung up, just let it get hung up for a second. I'm trying to... We want to go left. That's a, another river that dumps into this one. I just looked on the map. Get this mess. I'm fighting this battle. I really didn't think we were going to have to deal with this. Yeah, I'm oh, canoe trip. And we're walking instead of boating. Because the river's too. But you know what the nice part is? That's fine. We're on a hiking trip. At least we don't have to carry all of our gear. <laughs> Lightweight. It really is lightweight work, so I can't complain. Well, I mean, complain anyways, because this is an adventure. Mm -hmm. Inside, we're going to walk. We're tired of getting in the shallow water where we're constantly trying to push this boat. We're just going to get out and walk for a little bit. Watch. See, when we're out, it gets deep enough to be in the boat. When we get back in the boat, it gets Ain't shallow. Like, see, look, the, the bottom's disappearing. I know. It's getting deeper. Oh, it is raining. It's definitely raining, folks. Definitely raining. Hear some rapids coming up. You want to go right there, bro? That's what I'm looking at. I'm just trying to see the where it goes over the little hill. Go for it. Worst case, we gotta get out and walk it like we have been doing this whole time. I see it now. This river has not been an easy row for us. Um, we heard reports all the way up here before we got here, Urari, the whole area was under flood watches and everything else. The weather bug, I blame the weather bug for giving us extremely bad information. So we figured the river would be high and running hard. We've had to get out of this boat more times so far on this trip and push the boat. 
than we've actually sat in the boat and canoed. But I guess that's part of the adventure, right folks? No complaints, it slowed us down a lot. So now it makes me wonder, well, it don't make me wonder because I know we can still do the whole trip, but I figure we'd be like, by at the very least at the first spot we were looking for our camp at. We haven't got to the first boundary we're looking for yet. Either way, I'm happy. You still have, I'm having a good time still. Yeah, all this would be ripples, dude. This water is so low. It's carded. You almost need a kayak to get down this thing now at this point. There's as much problems we've had. Look at that. See, I wish that was a national forest up there. That's nice. Flat, already ready, big, healthy trees. Get up there and get a tarp pitched up and get lunch going. I, mean, I guess technically if we don't make it to the national we need to make it to the national fort there's only three miles from the start line but if we say we didn't it'd be just stealth camping you know what i'm saying hope that little, it's just a little drizzle the main storm we missed the big 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 one or it holds off until the night anyways once we're set up, he can thunder, clock, bang all it want. Well, not entirely. Our meals, our dinners entirely count on us to be able to have a fire. If we don't have a fire, we have to abort big dinner meals, which means no eggs, no sausage, no bacon, no all the good stuff you're waiting for. This is giving me a dirty look, folks. Don't kill me, Al Hunter. Don't kill me. Those dirty looks. If he ends up missing, you know who to blame. Did you hear that? I got it on camera. If I end up missing, y'all know who to blame. <laughs> <laughs> and, and if Al Hunter ends up missing, y'all got my back, right? No. I got a shovel. No, <laughs> they love me more. It's gonna be a hate comments I can potentially get for those comments. Down in the, you know what? Give us, go ahead. Give me some hate comments down below. Fire away how bad of a dad I am because I told my daughter what I just told her. Oh, I'm gonna go cry about it, my mommy. There you go. There you go. Raising no pussy. Well, the rain's getting lighter. I'm gonna lean back for a second. My back's hurting a little bit. Old man.
something might be a little bit wet, but it can lose that water in it. And we, if it's wet, it can dry out. What do you want? Or you have one can of beefaroni. But because I didn't know what time we were getting out of here Sunday, so I prepped for a long day on Sunday. Put it on there, bro. No, not yours. Turn it on. Click the clicker. Put the clicker over there. Click it. Oh, wow, Hunter found a turtle. He's hiding from her. He's hiding from her right now. Don't hold him upside down. I don't know if it'll hurt him or not. Just set him down right there and we'll see him move. Now he's in front of us. So we, we found a spot we're going to camp. We're just hungry. We're going to do lunch before we set up the hammocks for the night and gather firewood. We actually got a fire ring right here behind us. The trees crossed over it laid on. We're gonna cut that tree up for firewood and get it off that fire pit. And that's where we're gonna have a fire, which is right here behind me. But right here behind Al Hunter is probably gonna be one hammock and then another one back in there somewhere. We haven't quite figured out the hammock situation quite yet. Might even go to the same tree and I might stretch all the way over there because I got almost 30 foot of hang time. <laughs> So we're gonna cook our lunch. Happy with so today so far. I mean, I know it's been kind of a blah day because the weather hasn't been the best, but yes, I have. still happy to get out. Yep. Good, good, good. Only thing I didn't bring was a little trash bag. So I think we'll have to after dinner tonight, we'll have to combine That's good. to get us a free bag. Right, We're gonna do lunch. We'll holler at y'all here shortly. Lunch is served. And dinner tonight is going to be egg, bacon, cheese, soaps. Mm. It's going to be a really good dinner. excited for you to have your first cup of coffee out of that french press dude mm -hmm. i'm telling you it tastes better than what it does at the house and i think it's because our coffee pot needs clean yeah. okay, I'm good. i did a test cup last night it was awesome while you guys were out doing your school shopping thing with jigger school shopping <laughs> that little shopping thing you guys went on when you guys come home with clothes yeah, yeah. Well, we're not.
not going to waste too much film time on a lunch because it's just, it was a new, especially when we got a really good dinner for the night. We got eggs, we got bacon, we got cheese, we got a cast iron skillet, and we got sub rolls. We're going to make, I made it one time before on this channel. It was awesome. So me and her is doing it again. We got enough for at least two sandwiches of subs a piece, six inch subs a piece. So we're going to sit here and eat our lunch. We're going to conversate. Um, once we get lunch done, what, we're, what the plan is, is uh, go ahead and get camp set up. because We're probably just going to stay here tonight, right? You don't feel like getting back in the boat and going anymore. So we're going to stay here tonight. So once we get done eating lunch, we'll bring you guys back for setup. And then we're going to gather wood and cut wood and do what we got to do for fire tonight. Because we have to have fire for our dinner tonight. That's crucial. I mean, I guess we could cook it on our gas system, but no. no. We need to have fire. So we're going to eat our lunch, folks. We'll holler at you here shortly. Hey everybody, welcome back. All right, so we finally got camp 100% set up and policed up and cleaned up. Owl Hunter's over there, I'm directly behind me. This tree that you probably can't see in the camera fell over on top of where the fire pit used to be. So we took up, dug up all the rocks and we moved them right here and the tree has fell down. We're gonna cut a couple pieces off the end there to see if it's cured and how old the tree is. And if it's good enough, we're gonna cut that tree up and we're gonna use that for firewood. But right now we're both a little bit warm out. It's only about 3.30 in the afternoon. So we're gonna sit here and relax. Probably listen to music for about, what, 20 minutes or so. And here about, you know, 20 minutes to an hour, we're gonna start looking for wood, cutting wood, splitting wood and getting the fire going um, so we can do dinner time tonight. So far I'm happy with the trip. Um, hold on, what am I gonna do? Do's on my side or your side? I think you're on your side. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hang out and relax for a little bit, cool down. You know, I might even go down there and toss in a line. Might not, I don't know. <laughs> the weekend's all about straight up relaxing. Al Hunter's crushing all the cans that we've used so far. Yeah, I'm a little warm. All right, we'll tune with y'all. When we uh, get fire going, we're going to sit here and relax.
hot bed of coals going here, and then we go cook that dinner. Well, let me ask you something, Al Hunter. You call that fire success? Do you think we're still in danger of not being able to get one started? Thanks, success. Kind of what I thought, too. Good first night. Good first night. Oh, I'm happy with this roll here. You hear me? Oh, I'm happy with it. We're gonna have a dinner that's gonna make us sleep like babies tonight. Oh, we don't have to get up early like we did this morning. We can sleep. I already know I'm gonna sleep too. Much. Bugs are gone. <laughs> yeah, I need this to say. I don't think so. Around about 5 30 ish. We should probably start cooking. We'll be eating by 6 ish. It'll get dark until around 8, 8.30. It'll get darker in here sooner, though. I need to sleep right now. Unfortunately, I'm going to get me in your pants out. I don't need him in a second, but when the bacon comes out, it's going to have to go in somebody's pan with the lid. Until it all gets cooked. And then after this, we can get cleaned back up. Do you need both out or one? One for now. The other one, I guess, can be.
A bacon sure is good. Huh? You need to come over here then. Because this is going to be fast. More? Yeah, don't be shy. If you don't eat, it's going to go to waste. Um, unfortunately, you gotta get in there again, dude. Well, actually, my salt and pepper's in there. Never mind. I have a baggie of salt and pepper that was in my pan. Whose pan are we using for bacon? Yours. All right. There should have been a salt and pepper and stuff like that in there. I think I put it in 
Yeah, there's that salt and pepper. I'll keep that out then. There's this, there's this. Don't touch the pan. Salt and pepper. Can you get a um, container of water out of there? Eggs, bacon, cheese, sandwich. Is it good? Mm -hmm. mm. The only thing I'm going to do that I did last time is I toasted the bread. Excellent meal, folks. Excellent camp meal. Tomorrow we're going to have shredded chicken tacos. This was actually supposed to be tomorrow's dinner. But we were worried about the eggs and everything staying good. So we tried to do it tonight. So 
owl hunter and I are going to sit here and eat our meal. Um, and then afterwards, we're going to clean up before it gets dark. That way we can see what we're doing. It may or may not throw a line in. I don't know. I know that Al Hunter and I won't be up super late tonight because we got really early this morning. Um, Al Hunter stayed up really late last night, so. We can go lay down right now. Um, but we'll holler at y'all for like a little bit of a fire talk before bedtime after we get dinner done and everything cleaned up. So, my opinion, dinner was awesome. Eggs, bacon, on a, um, a sub roll, cooked over an open campfire, hot coffee made in a French press that the uh, mama bear bought us today or yesterday, whenever, you know, but she needs French press. It's awesome. I couldn't be happier. Um, river's a little rough. It's lower, so we had to get out over half the journey so far and help. It, you know, push the canoe and all that stuff, which tomorrow should be awesome because I'm hot and sweaty. Um, so I'm looking forward to that tomorrow. But overall, I'm happy with the journey so far. Can't complain none. I'm ready to relax for the rest of the night, sit here by the fire, listen to music, have a good conversation with Al Hunter. We're hoping we get some owls tonight so her she can talk to them. But it's a good day for me. Dinner was 10 out of 10. Um, day of roll was like a 9 out of 10 because like Dad said, the boat getting in and out was pretty annoying. You got sick of it. Shower water. So overall, I've had a good day so far. Hopefully tomorrow's better. Yeah, we got a little bit of rain today too on the river, which is kind of cool. Not Nothing too heavy. We didn't get, I really didn't get wet from it, but it was, it was kind of cool. We we're kind of hoping it, of course, last what we heard was it 9, 10 o'clock tonight, we're expecting a rainstorm. We're kind of actually hoping we get that one. It'd be nice to sleep underneath our rain slides tonight with a rainstorm. That'd be kind of cool. But if we don't, we don't. Whatever. We'd rather have the rain at night and not during the day when we're canoeing. That's where it boils down to. All right, y'all. So we're going to sit here and listen to music, enjoy the fire, have a conversation, enjoy life. Um, I'll check in with you once I'm tucked in the hammock for the night to say goodnight. I'll talk to you guys then. All the, hey. oh yeah, everybody, all of our uh, uh, subscribers, appreciate every last one of y'all, our Patreon supporters, Matthew B, Stephen R, and Mark K, appreciate you three, if it wasn't for y'all, these uh, ventures wouldn't be possible, we greatly appreciate that, everybody, check out our, uh, all the links down in the description, it's got the, uh, was it Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok, all of our links, everything that doesn't make the episode, that's where it all gets put. So check out those links there. Appreciate everybody. We'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys once I'm in the hammock for the night. It's raining, folks. It's raining. Hallelujah. So we're just enjoying our coffee. Uh, we were hanging by the fire, just relaxing, and then the rain. So I figured I'd bring you guys back so you could hear the rain. Pretty cool. Got a beautiful fire going. Hold on a second, I'll show you. Beautiful fire. to bed about an hour hour and 15 minutes ago i've been just kind of messing around by the fire but i'm now in my hammock for the night appreciate everybody's support to the whiskey's adventures channel youtube channel much love and respect i'm calling it a night later see y'all in the morning <laughs>